In this video, we're going to focus on drawing a difficult kind of vegetable, in this case, a corn. And we'll be going through drawing the structure and then we'll work on the details and shading the drawing. Corn is not always the easiest vegetables to draw, as there are tons of small kernels to account for. Hopefully, this tutorial shows you that there are ways to make it a bit easier, so that you can concentrate on the fun of being creative instead of the frustrations of difficulty. At the first step, we will start with the structure of the shape. So let's draw a cylinder. As I said, it's recommended to find the similar basic shape to your subject. And draw the structure of your subject based on the characteristics of that basic shape. I have a cylindrical shape here, so that's why I'm using a cylinder to start with. And then add two circles to both ends of the cylinder. Draw the circles based on the perspective of your subject. Make it into half by drawing a straight line in the middle. I like to extend the cylinder at the back for drawing the stick on the bottom of the corn. Again, draw a circle at the end, extend the middle line and draw another guideline vertically to make it into half. And at the center, which is the intersection point of these two lines, draw a smaller circle. This is for the stick. And then just extend that line like this and there you have it. Then for drawing the grid, draw rings just like the first one and repeat it evenly all over the pillar of the corn to divide the shape into several sections. And then we draw parallel lines along the central horizontal line to complete the grid. And then on the bottom side as well. Next we start to form each of these smaller divisions inside the corn. In this example, the head of the corn has been cut. So I draw the corn kernels towards the center in perspective. And then inside each of these squares, I draw a square with curved edges. So let's soften the edges of these smaller sections. It is not necessary for each of these parts to be the same size. In a corn in real life, we may have a smaller or larger kernels. We can shade the lower half a little to give it dimension. Let's jump on to the next step. To draw the structure of this corn, I exactly repeated the same steps. By drawing a cylinder as a guide, I got the general shape of my corn. I drew my center line, and then I drew the pointy head for the corn this time to show the whole shape of the subject. So one tip of the cylinder should be sharper. So you can get the outer contours of the shape easily like this. Also, don't forget to add cross contours inside the shape since it helps to make the shape look less flat and 2D. And then let's draw the grid on the shape as a guide for drawing the grains. We can continue the drawing without drawing the vertical guidelines and put the kernels next to each other like this. So we can fill each of the columns with short lines and then refine them later. Some can be smaller and some can be larger. So in this method, you will have less restriction and you'll see a sloppier and less geometric look for your drawing. The trick is to start with a grid. So you can line up all those kernels in neat and order rows. All those kernels look amazing, especially when they all line up in nice and even rows. But rather than just drawing lots and lots of little squares, or drawing just a quick grid, in this video we draw the kernels by creating a light grid to plan the rows first and then filling them with rounded kernel shapes. So draw a vertical line and horizontal line running through the center. This way before drawing you will have an easier reference to follow. A corn is actually quite a complex vegetable when you look closely, that you can make learning how to draw corn a bit of a challenge. It's a challenge that is made easier with the right guide to help and this happens to be that guide. Corn is made up of lots of smaller kernels attached to the center pillar of the plant, and it is encased in some big floppy leaves. I even like to draw different corn variations. I started my corn drawing with a series of preliminary studies such as observing corn, sketching kernels and husks, and experimenting with the media. The process of drawing my corn was fairly simple. In my sketchbook, I sketched kernels, husks, and cut it or full-sized corns based on my observations. On a sample of my desired color of paper, I tested graphite pencil for my husks and kernels in order to get an idea of which values and techniques looked best. I even added a little zoomed-in drawing to precisely work on each of these tiny kernels from a closer look.
For the final drawing, we will start by drawing the outline for the body of the corn. Again, you can start with a cylinder shape like before at the base step to get the overall shape of the subject. Then you can draw a very bumpy line in the general shape of the corn for the outline of the various kernels. As this bumpy line will end at a certain point, we draw a leaf there. Then we will be extending some curved lines up from the space for the first side of the leaves. At the top there will be some sharp parts of the leaf that are bent over a bit. Corn leaves are long and narrow with a slight curve. Draw these lines coming out from both sides of the stalks. You can show some partially hidden behind the husks for depth. Draw long, slender shapes around the upper part of the stalks to represent the husks. These shapes should be slightly curved and taper off at the ends. You can make them overlap with each other for a realistic effect. Make them varying in height to create a more natural look. Then you can add some line details to these leaves to give them more definition. And then you're ready to move on to the next stage. We will be continuing on the body of the corn drawing in this step and that means drawing the kernels for the corn. To correctly draw a corn or rather than its grains, let's again create a guiding grid. Note that the sections of this grid should become smaller as you approach the tip of the corn. The next step of our guide is drawing more rows of individual kernels. To do this, simply draw rows of rounded little squared shapes. Try to refer to a corn from real life if you have any around you to see where the gaps should be. Do not try to achieve perfectly smooth lines. Your corn sketch at this stage should be very light. Now let's make our loose sketch more similar to the drawing of a corn and jump onto the shading process. But first I'm gonna transfer this sketch to my sketchbook. After I had an idea of my composition in my sketchbook, I lightly sketched it out on my sheet of paper. The final step will be all about shading. As usual, we first need to determine the light source. Mine is hitting the object from this top left angle, illuminating these parts. So we're gonna have highlights mostly here, maybe reflected light at this area, and our core shadow is gonna be in the middle of the shape. So take your 6B graphite pencil and darken the core shadow first. This is a general shadow mapping. We need to work on each of these small kernels later in the next steps. We're gonna work on each plane and show that there are some bumps and also shadows and highlights on each of these parts. So the planes we have after the line of termination are gonna be darker. These planes have some shadows of course, but we're gonna use lighter values comparing to those on the shadow side of the drawing. So separate the shadow areas from the light areas generally in this initial stage. We also need to locate the shadows on the leaves. Let's say these areas belong to the shadow family. So now we kind of know where to put our shadows and where to put our lights. So it's settled. Now let's work on each of these kernels and give them more details. Some of my contours and strokes have been missing here, so I'm going to refine them to know where to put my shadows. This stage will be very difficult and painstaking, but the whole complexity of this step lies only on the monotony of actions. Using hatching and close together lines, draw the shadows on the lower part of each of these kernels and on the inner surfaces of the squares and gaps between them. So fill these gaps with dark values to show the grooves between each of these squares. Shade each of these tiny squares as if you're shading a rounded object coming towards the light. The right side of each square is usually in shadow and the left side is facing the light source. We typically know the yellow is the color of the kernels and green is for the leaves. So as we said in the last tutorial, the color of the shape and saturation of that color affect our choice of values. So shade your drawing based on those colors and choose the best gray representative for that color. Do this to take your corn drawing to the next level. Then add details step by step and work on the texture of the subject. While drawing my kernels, I made sure to add some shadows and highlights. I used these techniques to give a three-dimensional effect. I also did not blend the shadows with a stump 
due to the fact that I wanted the texture look. Maybe add some blemishes to the corn and don't make every kernel look the same. The middle rows are gonna be the brightest, so leave more white areas on those squares. And shade the left rows with a value darker than the middle rows, but lighter than the right rows, to show rounded cylindrical shape of the corn with shading, and give it more 3D look. Once I complete the kernels, I move on to shading the husks. While drawing the husks, I make sure to not blend the shadows. I'm trying to create contrast in my drawing through form and line. Add details to the leaves by drawing parallel lines to represent veins. This will give your corner stalks a more realistic and textured appearance. We have arrived at the final part of our corn drawing and in this one we shall finish off our shading. So refine your shading and edges and take a moment to go over your drawing, refining any lines or adding additional details to enhance the overall look. When you have decided on all the extras you would like to add to this corn drawing, you can finish it off with a cool background. As a conclusion, I must say it is very easy to draw a corn and the only serious difficulty is in drawing a large number of grains of this golden cereal. But be sure that with this very simple art instruction, you can easily learn to draw a corn. So thanks for watching. Let me know your opinion and ideas in the comments. I'll see you for the next one.